this is Frontier Africa Reports with me, Boston Amafaye, and joining me, Omono Okonkwa, who's a natural gas analyst. Omono, it's good to have you uh, speak with us on Frontier Africa Reports. Let's talk about the world of LPG, global LPG. Where are we right now on this? So for 2020, we had the global market size value at 122.29 billion USD. And for, uh, for some researchers, they've said that by 2027, there will be significant growth in global LPG. And the value was placed at 164.36 billion USD. So we see there is this growth. Yeah, there's growth in the global LPG. What about markets in, in Africa? How is, it, how is it coming through? Yes, markets in Africa also contribute to the significant growth rate uh, globally. And for Nigeria, we have a significant growth. Like uh, we know that the NL, NL, NLNG, that's Nigeria Liquefied Natural Gas Limit by 2021. Exactly. They said uh, by domestic, they will contribute to the LPG domestic market for uh, to the tune of 450,000 metric tons. This is the highest they've ever done uh, in recent, in past years, rather, they've not done up to this amount. So they're looking at increasing domestic, uh, the, sorry, to, to contributing to the domestic uh, market for LPG in Nigeria. Uh, but so again, who, who, who are we targeting here with LPG? Who are? Who are we targeting? Can we talk about LPG? Oh, oh yeah. We're targeting, yes, we're targeting domestic markets. Like you know, the uh, National Gas Expansion Program talks about uh, uh, pro, uh, focusing on gas for transportation, for, uh, for cooking, as well as for industrialization. So they want more people in Nigeria to make use of LPG for cooking. Because, you know, uh, of course, globally, we have the energy transition and more people are transitioning to clean energy, energy fuels. And in Nigeria, we have a lot of people making use of kerosene, firewood and uh, uh, charcoal for cooking. So the federal government has recognized that, OK, for us to transition to a cleaner energy as a country, we need to get more people involved in using LPG for cooking. But why is this such a, a difficult problem to do gas penetration in Nigeria? Among the low-income uh, uh, low, low earners. Well, you know, okay, let's take a look at this this way. So you know that for the last couple of years, a lot of people have found it difficult to buy commodities because they keep rising, right? And salaries are not increasing. The people in the grassroots, they are, I mean, many of them see firewood or charcoal as cheaper. Even kerosene now is very, very, very expensive. So many of them are making use of these things. They are not aware that, okay, the country is looking at transitioning to cleaner energy. Many of them are not aware because a lot of these people do not make use of smartphones. A lot of these people are not connected to the internet, right? And they live in uh, environments where there are so many people like them, nobody is there to, to inform them. And even if they inform them, are they able to afford it? Yes, because I mean, gas is expensive. It's more expensive than ch charcoal, for instance, or uh, uh, firewood, for instance. So if you're telling someone that is earning maybe 30,000 naira a month, a person with a family, a wife, and maybe five children. You're telling him, okay, well, I want you to start making use of gas. Even if, even if it's the smallest one, the one they call camp gas. Can he consistently make use of that gas? So is it, the of the, is it the cost of, of the gas itself? Is it the cost of the gas itself or the cost of associated materials? Maybe the cylinders and other things. Yes, it's, uh, it's, it's, I think it's a little bit of everything, right? This market, food stuff is expensive. Children have to go to school, rent and all that. So if someone is saying, okay, I spend an, an average of uh, 15,000 naira, for instance, in all these areas where they have, uh, I mean, rent is not so expensive. If I spend 15,000 naira on, on my rent in a month and I'm left to 15,000 naira, how am I supposed to cope with paying the children's school fees, how am I supposed to cope with feeding and then getting gas to cook? So I'd rather just go into the forest and get firewood or I'd rather just buy charcoal from my neighbor who sells. 
you know so it's a little bit of everything people are not earning enough the cylinders are expensive the gas itself is expensive yes the federal government in march 2021 they said they're looking at reducing gas for people so i mean a uh, cost of gas so that a lot of people can buy yes. uh, uh, gas to cook but people's salaries are not increasing right and foodstuff i mean it's very expensive if 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 foodstuff already is expensive mm -hmm. then you can imagine how much competition and so, all that so, so low income earners are having a hard time yeah, my, my, my final point is, is that a global advocacy for LPG usage, globally speaking? Well, globally speaking, uh, uh, of course, uh, they, they have uh, associations and all that driving the use of gas. Of course, um, uh, uh, clean energy advocates driving the use of gas globally. Yes, but at the end of the day, when you come back home to Nigeria, the truth of the matter is, low income earners are having a hard time. It, it, it doesn't matter how many people advocate for it, right? What matters is the realities on ground. If I am seeing uh, a lot of global advocacy for gas, I might want to do it, right? But is my pocket also agreeing with me, right? So if it's not just about, oh, well, let's, let's make use of uh, a, a gas for cooking so we can you know, reduce environmental pollution, which is very important, yes. I mean, if you tell them in their own language, you tell them, oh, well, this is what we're trying to do. But the reality is, are they also going to be able to afford it? Hmm. Yeah, about advocate nationally or locally. Yes, the advocation is doing a fantastic job online, driving their ass switch to PG. But if their pockets are not agreeing with them, no matter how noble the advocacy so, is, right? So the, so, so the, the bottom line here, yeah. in, in the manner of speaking, the bottom line here is about the state of the economy and, and, and the state of for the, yeah. the disposable income uh, for low-income countries or developing countries such as Nigeria and in a number of other uh, frontier African economies. Okay, thank you so much for having this very short conversation with us. We appreciate your uh, boots on the ground, understanding of how the local uh, LPG market works and how it goes all as well, globally speaking. Thank you very much. I want to come for Natural Gas Analyst. This is Frontier Africa Report. Thank you very much. See you next time.